Greetings, fellow Breachers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Pacific Drive, Episode 5, Seeking Anchors. And it wants me to take another drive, so I'm going to have you guys vote on the type of drive I take next. Give you, uh, let's say, two minutes to vote on that. So, uh, paint. This is a... It wants me to build the detailing uh, station to use cosmetic items. And I know the... Or let me hide the overlay. You can still vote, but I'm just hiding the overlay. So take another drive, build the detailing station, uh, activate the driver's checklist, and deposit <laughs> the collected paints and decals on the paint shelf, which is this. So this thing here can store paints and decals. So I have a tire that is not in good condition and the car is in 85%. I'm also wounded. Easy enough to heal. So I think it was this tire that, ooh. Oh. It's a spare tire, so it's garbage, and it uh, popped a hole and is misaligned. The other tires I have are all summer tires. Got it. And you can see headlight, hood, not so great. Tires messed up. I wouldn't mind getting the detail station, uh, but that requires getting the matter deconstructor, which I am going to get anyway. Because I already have a dumpster pearl, so it makes sense. So I'm going to make a gear and get the matter deconstructor. So this is just a big metal grinder that grinds up stuff. That would be the TLDR. And I kept these uh, crude parts so I could grind them up and salvage materials from them. Additionally, let's grind up the Dumpster Pearl. They serve no other purpose other than to be ground up. So this one had metal sheets and a whole lot of duct tape and some scrap metal and some glass shards in it. Not bad. I'm going to show you a funny little Easter egg I found, or like bug. When you turn on the vacuum and stand right here, you get dizzy! Yeah, uh, sorry about that, if you're nauseous. find that fun uh, all right build the detail station so I, I want to build that anyway and then um, thereafter I'll have you guys decide on upgrades so you want me to choose my run um, I'll think on that but what kind of research do you want me to focus on is gonna be up to you so there's the poll new poll for it uh, my two cents if you want to hear it uh, tires are really nice, and then uh, abilities and utilities are very nice as well. So, taking a look, um, garage upgrades are always very strong. So, like, improved antenna allows you to um, scan more, which is super nice. Expanded lockers allow you to store more, super nice. Outfitting station is amazing because it allows you to uh, set up your personal gear, which is really nice. So these are all garage upgrades. Um, having side racks to be able to attach uh, things to the side of your car is really sweet. And then uh, getting summer and then subsequently off-road tires is very nice as well. So, but But you guys ultimately can pick. And you guys left it for me to vote on the types of run I want to make. So I'm going to make a Liberator here. 
which is the um, the advanced part scrapper. I am going to scrap this old spare tire. And then scrap this one too. I think it's not worth repairing. It's also worth, to me uh, worth mentioning your tires will have mileage on them. In fact, that's true of all your parts. So as you drive, parts will wear out and not be worth fixing. So for instance, um, this tire, for instance, is has a road rating of double A, impact resistant of 10%, off-road rating of C, water rating of C, um, and it has 1,946 miles on it. So, where and out. Uh, you guys want storage upgrades, so let me pick one of those, and then I'll have you guys vote on another one as well. So there was only one storage available to me, which is side rack. So, here is a side rack. I'm going to put it on driver's side. So now, this allows me to attach things to the side of the car. Um, if you take a look at the monitor here, this is, uh, these are all the slots. So you have, like, roof slots and side rack slots. Or actually, these are front slots, side slots, roof slots. So there's a lot of, um stuff that you can attach to the car to change the way it, it uh, handles and to really custom tailor it to your own uh, personal uh, preferences. So if I visited the friendly dumpster right now, it would almost certainly give me a tire. Because I'm missing a tire on my car, the friendly dumpster typically will spawn things that you need. Uh, so I'll just demo that. Maybe it won't. Oh, yep, there it is. Spare tire. Uh, like I said, the friendly tire, uh, the friendly dumpster supplies. I'm gonna stick that spare tire in my um, in my trunk. Though. It looks to me like you guys want me to get tire upgrades, and then something of my choice. So summer tire blueprints. And I am going to spring for off-road tire blueprints. Nope. Uh, okay. I'll use the vacuum. That had just never actually happened to me in all my playtime. The blueprint just like sliding backwards and getting stuck. That's pretty funny. So I have discovered... I also have the detailing station. So um, the detailing station will allow you to put stickers on your rear trunk uh, window. And then it also allows you to change your uh, hood ornament, uh, your antenna ornament, dashboard things and um, steering wheels and there's some unknowns as well so I'll leave that unknown for now but I'll show you the, some of the detailing so we got side racks so here's the detailing station and I can go to like stickers and uh and pick a sticker that I want. So like I could stick uh, like a straight ally sticker. And when I come back here, as you can see, it's on the door. And you store your cosmetic items in there. So we also got, um, oh, uh, right, the cosmetic item I unlocked. Where did I put that? Oh, and all, all these things can be scrapped as well, so let me scrap them. I forgot about those.
saves me from having to do that, uh, loot all that stuff manually. So the cosmetic item actually was in my inventory. It's right here. So we can take this new antenna, stick it in there, and install it. And then if you take a look at the antenna here, we have a little disc. And just about everything about your car can be uh, detailed. So, uh, let's repair up the car a little bit. I need some more gears, so let's do five gears. One, two, three, four, five. And then off-road tires. One, two, three, four, five. So, I am replacing all of the tires in the car. From summer and spare to off-road. So that we can drive wherever we please. Because often the um, buildings will typically be on the road, almost always. Like 90%, let's say, will be on the road. And then most of the cars will be on the road as well, but like, anchors, not so much. Anchors are often uh, way off into the wilderness, as are some other points of interest, so. Off-road tires, I think, are choice. There's a lot of stickers and flags that I have not yet unlocked. There's actually tons of cosmetics yet to be unlocked. So if you take a look, there's 11 antennas, nine hood ornaments, seven different steering wheels, 39 stickers, 21 different paints. And um, as you loot and proceed in the game, you get access to those things. All right. Um... So the runner-up was a rad choice for research, and I'm going to choose the outfitting station. So, upgrades to the car are great, but when you're not in a car, you need your own upgrades. You know, your own personal gear. So this is what this is. And uh, the first thing I want to get here is the medium backpack. So now, my backpack's bigger. So if you take a look here, bigger backpack. Pretty nice. It also gives me more hot uh, bar slots there. So I have up to six slots now. So I can put this on six, this on five. Pretty swanky little, uh, little upgrade there. And as you can see, there's tons. There's a large backpack, which requires something called Swamp Coral. There's um, radiation equipment, impact equipment, piercing equipment, electrical equipment, acid equipment, explosive equipment, anti-theft equipment. Uh, I have... 1.4 stable energy, so um, in one minute, what other things should I research? So if we went with um, garage, I would probably get circuit boards, I'd imagine. So here, if you want to filter them, you can just do filter available. So circuit boards is just a manufacturing piece that unlocks additional options. Kind of like the gear in the light bulb. Here, can you pipe down? Okay, the volume control there, like, wasn't working. Um, because circuit boards will allow us to get improved antennas, which are pretty sweet. Uh, and also matter regenerators. Actually, I can get a matter regenerator in it right now. I can get probably both. Matter regenerators are really sweet as well. Um, looks like you guys are going for... So I'm going to hold off on doing the matter regenerator because I can't use that right now. Um, I'm going to go for circuit boards. So that will open up a lot more options for us. 
be able to make our own circuit boards rather than rely on what we salvage. And then having uh, gotten circuit boards, that will open up additional options as well. So I could get side storage um, and use that side slot that we had. But instead, you guys voted for my choice. I'm going to get a lightning rod. So this is a blueprint for a lightning rod. Oops. Which attaches to the sides of the cars. And when your car gets zapped by electricity, instead of your car getting zapped, the lightning rod will channel the power back into the battery. So it's sort of a somewhat dangerous way to charge up your car. But like, handy. I would say. And then one other choice here. Uh, I need more stable energy for the other side rack. I need more stable energy for everything. So we'll go get stim stable energy. Um, let's also repair up the car a little bit more, because it is a little bit damaged. So I'm going to make a repair putty, which is uh, the bottlenecking resource will typically be chemicals, which you can find in Arda uh, buildings most uh, frequently. Let's pop open the checklist too. <laughs> so... Bumper... This headlight and this panel. If I had to pick between the two, I'm going to do panel. Drive with that. Driving with one headlight is kind of fine. I'd already visited the dumpster. Ooh! Gave me a dashboard item. Colossal floof. So if we hop in the car, as you can see, I have a little floof right here. I do find some of them to be, like, just distracting. But, uh... So, like, I don't usually hang things from the mirror, for instance. Um, so this is another mechanic where the serum zone that we just went to is very hostile with extreme conditions and uh, doesn't have any stable exits. Meaning if, were, if we return there, we can't exit there. We would have to keep driving. So all of these zones that I have around me are damp forest zones. Um, and then this one is Blistering Woods. Right now, I am going to do a run. Let me upgrade the priority. Update the priority. Um, make a run for stable anchor energy. So... The junction condition here is anchor obfuscation. Uh, one moment. No, okay. So I am not actually going to go there. Well, no, I'll go there anyway. For funsies. Um, the other thing I could afford to do is replace some of the crude panels and crude doors with uh, steel ones. Giving me a, just a little bit more durability so that things don't fall apart as quickly. Because I do believe that I got a lot of scrap metal and metal sheet last run. 
So we need uh, one door, one bumper, two panels, and then we'll have a fully steel car. Or two doors. And this will keep the car together a little bit better. Nice. Full steel car with off-road tires. And a lightning rod. Not bad, not bad. So we've got uh, mechanics kit, ceiling kit. Spare tire, liberator, battery jumper, in the trunk. Uh, maybe give it a little bit of... Yeah, let's do some blue paint. Or whatever, teal paint. Give a new paint job. And according to the driver's checklist, my car is now at 99%, which is pretty healthy for leaving the uh, station. Now, if you're wondering about this door, it's because it has a decal, a wood panel decal on this section, because this was a found door, whereas the rest of my car does not have said decal. So there is an unrecognized, a few unrecognized things on this route that we might want to uh, look, look out for. So what I like to do at the start of every run is to park it and uh, just sort of plan ahead a little bit. So route map, anchor obfuscation. Which is now a known thing in our root, uh, in our logbook. Increased magnetic interference means the anchor signatures in this part of the zone are indistinct. It will be harder to precisely locate them. There's also two unrecognized things above as well. So there's an electrical thing unrecognized, and then uh, something else. So here, uh, as you may be able to tell, these things kind of blink in and out, the anchor points, and they're not static, they just, it's not clear where the anchors are, but I can actually see one here. So let's head to there. So zones with anchor obfuscation make it very hard to collect anchor energy unless you have a, a specific tool for it that I don't have. Oh, okay. It's gonna be like that, huh? Oh, hello. You weren't there a second ago. Creepy. And I'm getting zapped. Oh, okay. I'm getting flung around and zapped. Right now. Oh, you saw it too. Did you tell me you saw it too? You saw what? 
What do you mean, what? The hallucinations, like the ones from 1961. It happened again, just a quick flip, like blinking your... Wait, you didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right, because sending the driver head first aid to Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big surprise. Oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that its source was northwest of us. Specifically, yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. <sighs> That's impossible. It's been 40 years. So I'm going to use you guys to help spot the anchor points because I don't know where they are. Due to anchor obfuscation. Grabbing an anchor um, doesn't have zone wide effects. It can, but in this case, no. We picked up its waveform. It's local. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnant's waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and, and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane. After all this time, we find a remnant, a uh, lean on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Bitch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants were the key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <clears throat> I... I need to go. This is huge, Francis. We have so much work to do. I know. I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And then and, and, and be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. All right. We have another anomaly here. Sizzling mist. Well, like a little electrical storm. Not super fun to be in the middle of. Ooh, and I found another anchor. Just by chance. So the chemicals from these Arda uh, hazmat uh, shelves are going to be pretty necessary for us to collect a lot of early on because it is the ingredient for um, for repair putty. So to prevent us from having to regularly make new car parts, which is expensive, we can make uh, repair putty instead. So there was an anchor somewhere over here. And you might be able to tell I can very easily zip around the forests now with these um, all-wheel tires. Or off-road tires. Was there another jar of chemicals? Uh, no. It would look like it, but it was not lootable. There's a lot of stuff that is just like cosmetic. Not everything can be looted. If it can be looted, it, it glows slightly. So we easily, we already have 1.9 Kalim of energy, so we could hop out now. Um, there's probably additional anchors here. But without being able to know where they are, it's a slightly bit of a wild goose chase. So what I think I'm going to do is make my way to the next zone 
probably swinging by the main town that's up this way. Because there's a lot of buildings and other lootables in this direction. So, in terms of the route map here, uh, we did scan the Wrigley Mist, but there's still one more unrecognized that I have not yet scanned. And more notes. Some lab report notes. Alright, little pulp. Do you want me to read all the notes? Just a simple yes, no. So, there's a little scenic look. Bunch of cars. As you can tell, I'm just beelining for the most expensive, or the most loot-worthy stuff, which is the trunks. I could be scrapping the individual parts, but I just don't care to. More effort than it's worth, I think. Unless you really desperately need scrap metal. Or plastic. There might be times where you want tons of scrap metal and plastic. And then it'd be worth it. Ooh, that's Anchor Energy. I just happened upon straight ahead. Nice. Often, uh, in the anchor obfuscated zones, it's actually very challenging to find anchors. But because I'm really early in the game, and the, I suspect the game's being quite generous, it's giving me them, like... There, there's a lot of them in the zone. And they're not deep in the forests. Oh, you were not there a second ago. might only be one more uh, anchor on this map somewhere ahead. Oh yeah, there it is. Do Taurus follow me? Um, they don't exactly follow you, but they don't exactly not follow you. They kind of just move around at their whim. They're tourists. They're not stalkers. Alright. I think we have all the anchor energy that the zone has to offer. So let's get to the exit. Because it's getting a mite bit stormy here. I would also, if you see Art Investigator or uh, Field Trucks, I would not mind topping up. I could siphon off the cars, but it's... a lot of the cars are empty, so it's far less of a... a guarantee stopping by all the broken down cars on the side of the road. I think these fuel tankers have fuel hookups. See if we can see a nozzle. I'll hop out for that. No, maybe not. So 
this is a very building dense area of the map. Exit somewhere down this way. Might be an opportunity to siphon some fuel off this car, though. Our fuel tanks are like low, uh, you know, they're fine. It's still above half. And we have this spare fuel can in the back. A little bit fuel. This story from Stormy Zone. Out we go. Thank you for tuning in to Pacific Drive, which streamed as a marathon one time only March 16th and March 17th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that both no feedback can be incorporated because this was streamed as a marathon one time only. And also I ask for no spoilers so people reading the comments don't have the game spoiled for them. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Radamot.com or the description of this video have a link to it. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, viewers that turned out for this marathon, and viewers like you as well that made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow breachers.